Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are turning what is the easiest quilt block out there and turning it into something awesome. Several times. Seven, to be more precise. Maybe more if I get carried away, and let's face it, I always do. <laughs> and yes, I am aware I have said this about a couple of quilt blocks so far, like the nine patch and the pinwheel and the strip quilt block, but this is probably the easiest one. I mean, it's a four patch. It's four squares sewn together. In fact, let me just show you how easy it is to make one. Okay, so we take two strips of fabric, and we sew them together. And now that we've cut them in half, we will sew them again, except we will turn this one around like so. And after some pressing and some trimming, here you have a four patch. It's that easy, you know, there's just no denying it. <laughs> Another thing I cannot deny is how important the Sew Easy by Sandy community support of my work is and how much I appreciate that contribution and how it allows me to do what I do every single day. And if you want to know how you can support me as well, just go over to my Patreon page and check it out. I'll leave the link in the description for you, okay? We are still starting out, but I have such big plans for it. I think we will have a lot of fun together. And speaking of fun, are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so I have this four patch right here, ready to disappear. <laughs> Sorry, I always like to use my magician voice when I say it. I'll get over it eventually, I hope. <laughs> now for today's video, we are making most of our four patch quilt blocks seven by seven inches, so you can get a good look at them. And I guess the easiest way to make a four patch turn into something different is turning it into a pinwheel, right? So let's do that. Okay, and for this pinwheel, I'll actually need two different four patches, which is a little bit different from what I usually do, but I have two right here. So I'll do them real quick, and I guess we will have two blocks for the price of one. Well, not for the price of one, but you know what I mean, for the effort of one, I guess. Here we go. So, we are going to trade this one for this, and we are going to trade this one for this and there's your pinwheel right there and this one will be the exact same thing so we put it like this and like this and then like this and like this and we have two pinwheels so essentially what we did we just cut diagonally in both sides in both four patches and then we just mixed and matched these if you did just one you would not be able to mismatch them okay you need two but i think these ones actually look really really cute let's sew guys Okay guys, we have pressed and we have trimmed and we are done. And if you want to see all the variations you can create out of a pinwheel quilt block, you can check out this video right here. <laughs> but after this one, okay, you will love them both. So our next four patch is right here and now we are turning this into a nine square by cutting two vertical lines and two horizontal lines just like so. As long as you have your outside bits the same size, it doesn't really matter if the inside are a tiny little bit smaller, okay? Because if they move, they may not be cut, right? Oops, don't move. Okay guys, almost there. Our final cut right here and this one has already. Okay, right here. And there we have it. Nine squares. And now, we are just going to play with our puzzle pieces a little bit, okay? Just turning them around to see what we can come up with. For example, uh, let's say we switch these and then we switch these. That's cute, right? So that would be a very good option, right? And of course, a totally new quilt block. <laughs> okay, let's sew. Okay guys, and here is our new quilt block. Now a little bit of pressing and a little bit of trimming and it will be complete. So, so cute, two down. <laughs> Okay guys, this next one will be a real quick, blink and you'll miss it kind of quick. We're just going to take a four patch quilt block and we just cut the corners out. And then we rearrange the corners and we sew them back together. Okay, here we go. Now this pattern is even more striking if you use 
strips of fabric to make your patches you know you instead of it being just four plain squares each square is made of strips in whichever direction because then when you rearrange it you can change you know the the color of the strips and the direction of the strips and it just it looks stunning it really really does but I guess I'll just leave that one for my part two of my string quilt block variations because there are just so many left I will definitely be making more <laughs> And this is part one, by the way, of our string quilt block variations. You can check it out right after this one. Okay, so the first immediate result is we have a smaller square, a smaller quilt block. But we're not stopping there because we are rearranging, sorry, we are rearranging our corners like so and there you have it a brand new quilt block okay guys let's sew and here we go stunning isn't it <laughs> now I'm thinking we can make a little something more special with this one mm, let's see what happens if we cut this block just like we did our second quilt block do you remember so two vertical lines to horizontal lines let's see how that goes so this is six six and six okay this one will be a lot easier to trim than the previous one because we've got two two and two more oops two and two again and now two over here and two down here as well okay hmm let's tweak it shall we so maybe if we do like this and maybe like this like this maybe oh that kind of looks like a star doesn't it and then maybe we do this and this and this little one over here And that is what we get. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Well worth the extra cutting. Oh, star. You know how much I love stars, right? Let's sew, guys. <laughs> and here we have it. This really, really tiny star. We are going to press it and then trim it. And then we will be done. And these blocks just keep getting smaller and smaller, guys. The more you tweak them, the more you cut them, the smaller they get, of course. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like after we've sewn, pressed, and trimmed it. And a little tip, you know, if you make four of these and play with them, oh, it's even better. <laughs> you know, whole quilt of them is ideal. You know, this just blows my mind, it really does. How simple it is to create something stunning from four squares of fabric sewn together. I mean, just look at it. All we have created so far from these four patches, it's like any way you turn it, it's awesome. This is exactly what I mean when I say that sewing is magic, plain and simple. I mean, yes, it makes you feel awesome too. But the art we create with our bare hands, you know, the possibilities of it, magic. I have no other word. For our fifth disappearing four patch quilt block variation, we have these very cute yellow flowers right here. And we are cutting uh, two inches off the top and two inches off the bottom. And then we are cutting two inch strips from each side too. But just the middle, okay? Not these ones. These ones are out of here. No need. So two inches. And 
two inches again. Okay, our next step is to just tweak our little pieces like so, you know, make sort of corners, if you will. Oh, sorry. So now we are tweaking our puzzle pieces in order to make four mismatched corners, just like so. But we can go a step further, actually. So I am bringing in a second four patch quilt block and I am cutting it exactly like we did with the first one. Now we can play a little bit with the pieces we've got. Like, for example, if we're making corners, we could make something like this. And this one would be. Oh, that doesn't. That's, that would have to be the other way around. You don't want white on white. So, yellow and blue. Um, and over here, we would be. Ah, doing it again. <laughs> no problem. here we can do it like that right and that would be cute so I'm going to leave this one as is now I don't know if you followed this channel for vlogmas but this was one of the quilt blocks I made for our Christmas sample quilt along but today we're actually making two different patterns one we've already seen but I am changing up the second one you know the inside fabric just like that and make it look a bit more special. So what we have here right now is essentially four patch. You see, one patch, two patches, three patches, four, except for these corners, which are a different color. But other than that, it's a four patch. And if you see, they are very similar, but at the same time, completely different quilt blocks. Okay, so now let's sew. Okay, now this, this bottom strip will be a bit larger, okay? The bottom and the top strip, actually. We will be trimming it once we're done, okay? No worries. And there we have it, guys. Two different quilt blocks put together in seconds. You know, this combo would actually make a really, really cute quilt. <laughs> I think I'll add it to my list. And I guess that makes five and six. Okay, this next one is probably the easiest way to make a four patch disappear <laughs> without a trace. In seconds, actually. It is called a double four patch quilt block. Now, we need two four patch quilt blocks and I made these a little bit smaller. They're really, really cute. They're like three and a half, three and a quarter, something like that. And now we get two rectangles of the exact same size and the same color, like so. And now we are just going to assemble them. And the way we do it is something like this. And as you can see, it's gone. Our four patch no longer exists. And now all you see are these four white squares. Now imagine this. Imagine you have four blocks exactly like this one. So the first one goes like this. The second one is like this. The third is like this. And the other one is like this. And just like that, you have a diamond. And that's all you can see. Now imagine a whole quilt filled with diamonds. It really is that simple, guys. But I guess the best thing right now is to sew before I get carried away. Let's go. <laughs> and here you have it, guys. As promised, it disappeared. Yeah, I'm not getting over this anytime soon. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, guys, hear me out. I know I said seven and I meant it. But you know, there is just so much fun to be had. I just have to make eight, okay? <laughs> it will be worth your while, I promise. So, here's our four patch quilt block, all nice and plain. And now we're pretty much doing what we did for the second variation. Do you remember that one? <laughs> Except now we are doing it diagonally. So we are just going to mark all our corners two inches, okay? Let me show you. So, two inches here. And here, here, and here, two inches here, and here, and two inches here, and here. Okay, now that we have our markings, we are just going to cut diagonal lines like so so first we do these ones real carefully and the second marking are here and here 
And now we are going to do the exact same thing on the other direction, okay? So here and here. This requires quite a bit of concentration if you don't want to have a disaster on your hands because you know once you cut, you're done. And the second cuts are always much harder, you know, to make crisp than the first ones. Okay, so now that we have hacked our quilt block, we'll just change the diagonal strips like so. Okay, already I'm doing something I shouldn't. Okay, this one goes right here, this one goes right here, and we switch these off like so. And immediately we have a brand new quilt block on our hands that is a very cute one at that. See, I told you it was worth it. Let's sew. Okay, and here we have it. It is lovely and we are done. Are we done? You know what? Something is bothering me. <laughs> you know me. Why do we have two quilt blocks that are exactly alike? That doesn't make sense, does it? I think we need to do something about it. Yeah, let's hack into this one and make it nine. <laughs> okay, so what should we do with this one? If we just cut the corners like so, we will get pinwheels that are kind of different, I guess. Uh, if we trim them like this, it would be more interesting, probably, maybe. Mm, diagonally. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Yeah, I think we're going to cut the corners and see what we have. Do you agree? Let's keep it simple. We've been here a while. <laughs> okay, so cutting corners and seeing what this gives us. I am sure it will look pretty cute. Cannot wait to see the end result. I am sure it will be worth it. And if it's not worth it, then I'll just cut this part right out of our video and you will never know I hacked an innocent quilt block for nothing. So here we go. Okay, and now we turn this around and we do like this, maybe. Let's see. Well, this is really cute. What do you say? I think it looks really cute and at least it is completely different from the first one. Let's sew and I will be right back. And there you have it. Nine different four patch quilt block variations you can make in no time whatsoever. And while having a blast doing it, of course. Well, at least I know I did. <laughs> Thank you for doing this with me and I will see you later. Bye bye.